Hello and welcome back to the channel. This will be episode two in our Python tutorial series. So if you missed the first one on installing and setting up Python and PyCharm, go ahead and check that out. I'll link to it in this video. Uh, so in this video in particular, we're going to be taking a look at Python variables and data types. And a variable, essentially, if you've had any exposure to math or programming, this should be fairly familiar to you, but it's basically taking a, a value, a text typically, and storing data inside that. So in Python, the most common types of variables are strings, integers, and booleans. And the boolean may be the one it's worth talking about a little bit more here because a boolean is a special type of value that is true false. So you can store something that is either a one or a zero as the computer sees it. It's a true or false. And by using a capital first letter and the rest of the word of either true or false, you're telling the computer that you're using a Boolean. Now, these are the three most common types of variable. Throughout this tutorial, we'll absolutely use a few others. Numbers can be integers, which are basically whole numbers or floats, which are decimal points, and you can do advanced math and fractional computation using those. Um, but for now, uh, we'll put a few variables in here and we'll show why you might want to use a variable. So if I have similar to what we did in the previous video, print, there was a man wearing a hat. And then I print, he was 33. And then I print, was he old? Yes. So if I run this, what you're gonna see in the console are the three sentences I typed. There was a man wearing a hat. He was 33. Was he old? Yes, just like we typed in above. But let's say you want to be able to control what the man was wearing, how old he was, and set whether or not you consider that old from variables rather than strings. Well, that's where we would be able to use our various variables. So rather than A, it's good to give it a descriptive, a descriptive variable name. In this case, we'll use clothing. And on the left of the equal sign, you're saying the variable name. So this is the variable name. When you call the variable, you need to know this. But on the right, you're actually putting the data in. So for now, we'll say the clothing is a hat, just like we say down here. And then we'll call this age. And then we'll say 33, just like we have down here. And then we'll say elderly. That'll be our variable controlling whether or not we consider that old. And we'll set that out. Oh, you better spell it right. And we'll set that to true for now. So what you're going to find if in these print statements, I replace where we call these things out with the variables we just wrote, then it's going to display the exact same thing because of the values we just set. So the way you do this, you use a plus sign in your print statements. And then to convert variables that aren't strings into strings, you have to use an str function. So this is going to be clothing, and we actually can just leave that as is because it's a string. But then this one, we want to say he was plus age. And this is actually going to give us an error. I'll show you why. Because he was plus age can only concatenate string, not int. So the issue that we're having here is we're trying to say he was, which is a string, and add a numerical value to it. And you can't do that. But don't worry, Python has a built-in function, str, and then you put your variable into parentheses. That's taking the value of your variable and converting it to a string. So now if you see if I run this, there was a man wearing a hat, he was 33, was he old? Yes. But, so we'll go ahead and do the same thing for our elderly condition. 
And then you'll start seeing the value of it right here. So obviously nothing has changed, but if I wanna say, well, maybe he's not wearing a hat, he's wearing a jacket, then you can change your variable. You don't have to change your print or display function and you'll see right away, there was an old man wearing a jacket. He was 33, he was old. I'm very sorry to anyone watching this who's 33. I don't actually consider that old. But now the cool thing about Python is you could take all of this code all over again and you can actually change your variable values mid run and say, well, this guy's not wearing a jacket. He's wearing pants. This guy is 63, but for some reason we don't consider him elderly. So what you're going to see if we run this is we get our output twice. There was a man wearing a jacket. He was 33 and he was old, but there was a man wearing pants. He was 63 and he was not old. And the interesting thing about variables, you're able to reuse and change what the actual data inside of them is multiple times as you go through. So this becomes very useful, say, when you're creating calculators and you need the inputs to change. So the first time you do a calculation, you want A plus B. But the second time you might want A divided by B and A and B can be different numbers. So one of the next tutorials will be a calculator script and you'll actually get uh, some exposure to that. But for now, you've been shown string variables, integer variables, and Boolean variables, as well as a scenario where it might be useful to use different variables. So hopefully that was a useful in introduction to variables inside Python and stay posted as we do more tutorials to come. We'll get more in depth in how to use these to do some really cool functionality. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe the channel if you found it useful and stay tuned for future tutorials. Thanks. Bye.